Jared Cullop, and this is a, a quick video for you to see exactly uh, how easy it would be to update your new website if we built it. Um, this is the easiest way that I have to, uh, to show you, so you can also show the CEO of your firm there. Um, so I'm on my site, which is built with the same coding that we would build your new site on, and I'm going to hit the escape key. Okay, so now it's logging me in. And so we just go over here as the navigation, we go to the page that we want to, to look at. Let's say we're going to go to the page about me. Okay, so just so you see, this is what the page looks like from the outside. Okay, it's my family. And then I could have hit the escape key or clicked that gear on the outside. And this is what it looks like when I can modify it. So it's so easy. Um, let's just say that we wanted it to say uh, Hillbilly at Heart from the start. I'm going to click Save. Now it's published. Now let's go look at the outside again. We scroll down. Hillbilly at Heart from the start. That's how easy it is to change edit text, uh, to add text. Um, if Let's say that we wanted to put this picture up here beside it. All I'm going to do is drag it there. Okay, so it's that easy. Or let's say I really wanted it to be more like this size. I'm just dragging it. I'm going to view page. Oops, yes, I want to save. Say, uh, oops, I got to save and publish. I'm not doing this well for making a video. Now view page. And you see that it did that. It's, it is a real, true to form, drag and drop editor. So um, now I'm going to go back to saying that I want it how it was because it looked nice. And boom, just back that way. So uh, let's see another thing. Let's say I wanted to change this picture. I'm going to double click it. And then I would just pull open a file and I'll say on the desktop. Pick that. I'm going to scoot it over so you can see. I'm going to drag it in here. Actually, I'm not going to do that because I don't want to get rid of that picture. But you saw it's processing the image. Discard those changes. That's not what I wanted to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go add block. Then I'm going to go an image. I'm going to say I want it to go up here above at the top of the page. So now I can do this. And what it's doing now is automatically resizing the image so that it's not, because that's a very high res image that should be used for print, not for um, like web use. It would slow down. So it's actually resizing it. That's why it's taking a little longer. But uh, as soon as that's done, and my internet is, my charter is bothering, is being bothered today. Um, but as soon as that's done, we could be able to go out and look at it. You can, in the meantime, you can add a caption. We could say we want the caption to go below it an overlay, only the captions pop up if someone ho hovers over it. So if it's a project you have, we can have it to where it automatically names the project and says this is the foyer or whatever. Um, if they want to see more about, if you want to send them to that site of the project that you did or wherever you might want to send it, you just put it here. If you want it to download um, a PDF uh, or a picture or whatever, download anything, you just drag and drop that here. And uh, so now we're going to go view page. Yes, I want to save. Leave page. And there it is. So I also want to use this one last opportunity. Um, there, everything to do on these sites is this easy, by the way. Um, I just thought of something, so I'm going to get rid of the Porsche there. Um, let's say that you make a blog entry about one of your um, projects. Let's say that this project is the course at Weaverville. Okay, you make it just as easy as, as I showed you there. And then you say social. Now it's already been done, but before it was done, um, the, there were like little light switches here that you just click, and it automatically pushes out your content to your social media outlets. The reason there's two Facebooks is because one is my personal and one is my, uh, my business one. So and you can add a location so it shows up on a map. It's limitless and it's ideal for what you're doing. I really do think so. Um, 
You can view your traffic. Uh, you can see 